Let's take you back to Friday night now and Isaac Klein up against Charlie Cameron. So this matchup was brilliant. Now, the last line of defence most often, you don't want to allow Charlie Cameron out the back. So you've already said, made a decision, you've got to take that ball. If you're going to allow Charlie Cameron out the back, he will do this. He kicked six goals on him in round four and I don't think they did their homework again. So Charlie Cameron, if you let him out the back here and you've got space between you and your opponent, Charlie Cameron will get on his bike and do this. This is a brilliant mark, but he's got space and time to take this mark because you've let him go aside. So you've got to be able to put the body into him. Again here, if you're going to leave him and leave him behind, you've got to take the mark or fist that ball away because Charlie is the best in the competition. Almost history of doing that out the back. Again, this last one. Charlie Cameron, you've got to body him right here. If you body him right here, he cannot get that football. Isaac Quayne decides to outrun him. You can't outrun that man. He is brilliant. So only six disposals for Charlie Cameron. Four goals. Only seven possessions for Isaac Quainer. Last line of defence most night. I thought Brisbane got that match up perfectly. Yeah, we touched on it last week. I think it's the biggest weapon of any team in the league is their small forward. So you've touched on Cameron, but he's only one of them. Bailey's back to good form. He kicked a couple. Rayner was terrific on Friday night couple. McCarthy's been a very good player for a long time. Zorko's ball use going inside 450 when he gets it in the front half. So look out for this group. I, I would much rather play Collingwood in the first final at the MC than play Brisbane at the Gabba in the first final. So that will bring into effect Port Adelaide and Melbourne. I know you can't work out a way where you don't you know, play Brisbane at the Gabba, but they're the last team that I'll want to play in that first final. So, Damo, is it, is it, is it just uh, a result of the growing injury list at Collingwood or are there deep-seated problems there? I think it's a bit of both, TJ. I mean, the, the injuries are an issue. Obviously, the goey out, uh, Dacos out, Moore out, and they rested Bobby Hill, or at least managed Bobby Hill. But these scores that are being racked up against them now in the last four weeks, and the three of those are losses, Carlton and Hawthorne and Brisbane. They got over Geelong and were just pulled apart Geelong's um, lack of form this year by only eight points, and, and Geelong also got over 100 points. So there's a whole lot of issues, TJ. Some of it may just be being so far ahead of the competition until this stretch of matches came into play, and they will still probably finish top of ladder, provided they get over Essendon next week. But so there's been a you know a, a lack of motivation to play for anything for some time. But you don't just flick a switch. Are they still premiership favourites? I, I look at Brisbane as a premiership favourite. No, but what, at the what, what's your mob saying? Sports? Uh, they are slight favourites here, yeah, but right. uh, I don't think they deserve to be the way they're playing at the moment. Injury concerns, but finals. I think they can stand up and they'll go close to winning it still, Colin. I'm not going to throw them away yet. I think they can still go close. Premiership favourites? Uh, I'd say Brisbane or Melbourne. Yeah, Brisbane now. They won't have to come to Melbourne until mm. grand final day. Yeah, it's set up beautifully for Brisbane. Winning that game on the weekend has is, is really allowed them to, to dream as big as they want ever under Chris Fagan. I'll stick with Collingwood. Mm. Yeah. I think there's still a lot to look forward to there.